Hello and welcome. Today uh, we'll start to work, to study work, but we'll not be doing the same kind of work the one we are going to study because basically we'll be doing some mental work and we are going to study physical work. But nevertheless, let's start to work. Work is a word that you are quite familiar with and you also know the basic I, you have the basic idea of what it is and you also studied the basic formula of it in class 9th where you studied that work is force into displacement this is a correct definition this is not wrong but this is not a complete definition basically what happened was when you studied then you studied the linear uh, you studied a situation in which the force and displacement used to be linear and the body had linear motion for example if a block is kept like this and force has been applied and there has been some displacement of this body s then in that case work is defined as force into displacement work is basically the measure of what the hell you are doing you are applying some force and something is happening a body is moving and it is having some displacement so force into displacement is a, is, is a quantity that is what we refer to as work. That is okay, but that is not the complete definition. There could be situations other than the simple linear motion of a body. For example, suppose the same body was kept on a horizontal plane and due to some reason, instead of applying the force horizontal, or in the plane of the surface on which the body is kept, you applied the force at some inclination to the horizontal. The inclination at an angle of angle theta. Now in this case, let's analyze what would happen. The first point of to begin the analysis is to break the force into components. That that really helps and make the situation simple. Now this force can be really broken down into components as f cos theta in the horizontal direction and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with how to break the force into components and the vertical component of f sin theta. Now the other forces which must be acting on the block would be mg, the gravitational pull downward and the normal reaction n which will be vertically upward. Now, if the body at all is moving horizontally, then F sin theta has nothing to do with that motion because F sin theta is in vertical direction and any force in vertical direction is not going to do anything in the horizontal plane. This discussion we had before and we understand that clearly. So it turns out that the entire of the force is not causing horizontal motion. Entire of the force is causing something but entire of the force is not causing horizontal motion. If we are looking, if we are concerned just by the displacement and nothing else, then the displacement is caused just by the horizontal force. Vertical force has nothing to do with the horizontal motion. So actually the component of force which is causing horizontal motion is just F cos theta. F sin theta has no role to the motion of the body in this plane, to its velocity, to its acceleration, displacement, nothing. So F sin theta actually logically with common sense should be kept out while we are working out with for work. Because work is the force which is causing the displacement and the force which is causing the displacement is actually just f cos theta now this force into displacement should be the work then this is how we understand it and this is the accepted way of writing the expression of work and if we just rearrange it it could be written as fs cos theta and we can also write this as f vector dot s vector now this we have learned before shouldn't be a problem for you to see this this is actually f dot s a dot b is a b cos theta f dot s would be f s cos theta now this is the definition of work that we will consider here and this is the complete definition of work this will be true in all the cases each and every case 
This will not always be true. This will be true only when the angle between force and displacement is zero degree. Because if we consider theta to be zero, cos theta is one. So basically it is just force into displacement. But force into displacement uh, will not always be true because there could be different kind of motion other than linear motion. So this is what the definition of work is, F dot S. And if you have force into components in the Cartesian form, uh, like if force, is fx i cap plus fy j cap plus fz k cap and you have displacement as sx i cap plus sy j cap plus sz k cap this is how we write it in cartesian form then f dot s would be simply and and we have learned how to do the vector product uh, dot product of uh, these two when we write them in Cartesian form. This would be simply, the work in this case will be simply, the I cap and I cap would be multiplied. The I cap into J cap would be zero. I cap into K cap will be zero. So SX is going to be clapped with FX. And that's simple and straightforward. FX, SX plus FY, SY plus FZ, SZ. This is how, what work expression will come out from force and displacement expression if we express them in Cartesian form. That is simple, that's okay, you would understand that. Now, here we see that work is a dot product of two vector and dot product of two vector are scalar. See, if you're getting a problem in understanding the dot product, actually we did it covered before and if, we, if you somehow missed it, I would suggest you go back and study the dot product and cross product because actually I'll not be getting into it. But I hope you understand this work is f dot s and dot product of two vector is a scalar quantity and hence work is a scalar quantity work doesn't have any direction we never attach direction with work so this is the complete definition of work now depending upon the angle between the force and displacement you would understand that cos the range of cos is between minus 1 and plus 1 so for certain angles this cos theta is going to be negative so work the value of work will turn out to be negative now what will that mean we'll understand and first we'll see if, what will be those situations in which the value of work will turn out to be negative <laughs>